How will we realize the potential of the fourth industrial revolution in ASEAN? ASEAN is still grappling with digitalization. We have urban centers embracing technology and have the ready infrastructure for this. How do you ensure that folks in the interiors have access? Much of labor utilization in this part of the world is very pre-industrial. Manufacturing has been such an important part of the development story of Asia. But now there are big questions around whether this old model can be repeated into the future. The challenge for ASEAN is really how to restructure our economies and find new sources of growth. The uptake of these digital services is taking away the borders between in these different nations. Our population is young. There is a huge skill mismatch. The biggest challenge we have is having employment for all these people. We need probably the world's largest network of vocational training schools in Southeast Asia. We have had some amazing success stories introducing coding and computer science in schools. Going back to young people and supporting them to realize their aspirations and their challenges. For a student who wants to become a doctor, he or she would do well to learn something about robotics. Learning how to make limbs using 3D printing is a skill that could come in handy. It's even more important to make it an integral part of preparing students for a future. It's going to be interesting to see how countries think about where their competitive advantage comes from and how their development models need to change as technology rewrites the world. We're beginning to see homegrown technology and mobile companies in this region succeeding in a very fantastic way. I'd love to see more of that in KL and Thailand and Hanoi. That's got to be a priority. I'm positive and optimistic about the future. The power of people is becoming stronger and stronger. What we are going to see in the next 30 years is innovation at a much faster rate than we have ever seen. Myanmar only opened its doors about three years ago and they are doing things like social inclusion a lot better than some of the bigger countries and if we can have examples like that in the emerging markets, that model can be adopted by the rest of ASEAN. We're also finding the use of digital technology really changing agriculture. Everything from drone technologies helping farmers, satellites looking at farms, through mobile you can get them information on agronomy, on weather, on prices, link them into trading. The farmer is actually the knowledge worker of the future, trained in science, educated. The fourth industrial revolution has actually empowered women. We want to find solutions for the social issues. I think the internet and the fourth industrial revolution is very much about the ability to use new technology to solve society problems. The future is what we want it to be. The beauty of the World Economic Forum is that it does bring different stakeholders together. We now have a collective energy and momentum moving forward and it provides engagement for us to really build that agenda together. In 10 years from now, there will be more jobs, more quality jobs in ASEAN.